Hey guys, so I thought I'd just make a very quick second video here about these rumors that Samsung Galaxy S3 is going to have a 4.8 inch screen and it's coming from BGR and they are reporting it as a trusted source and that's going to have a ceramic back and I've already made a video about that. So what's very interesting about this is first of all they are saying that it's a trusted source and of course BGR.com that's a good website and they also have it marked as an exclusive so it seems like they are pretty sure that this is the real deal and as you can see on their mock-up uh, you can see that it's uh, kind of like have an edge-to-edge -edge screen and we heard those rumors that uh, Samsung is working on an edge-to-edge -edge, uh, you know bezel less Samsung phone that uh, would you know, like launch this summer or something like that and uh, that it may very well be called the Galaxy B but hey who knows it could also be the Galaxy S3 super phone so uh, the thing is that we know that you know if, if they're gonna have a 4.8 inch screen people are gonna say like oh but you know I have the Galaxy Nexus and I think it's very big I, I can't have any bigger well the thing is that if you remove all of these bezels if you remove the the thing on the bottom on the Galaxy Nexus and uh, you know if, if you remove those things uh, and make the screen a little bigger as you see on this mock-up a 4.8 inch screen would actually be around 10% smaller if they would have this edge to edge screen and have it way thinner at the bottom and also way thinner at the top and also if these rooms are true that it's gonna have a seven millimeters thickness that's gonna be insane okay that's gonna be crazy and uh, also it would be insane if it would have two gigabytes of RAM because that would be like the first phone to have that and I mean I, I want more RAM I think RAM is important because I always like max out my 800 megabytes RAM on my Galaxy Note, and that's a little it started to get a little annoying. So two gigabyte would be perfect. 12 megapixel camera. I mean, I don't think we're gonna see all of those things because I think there's so many, you know, too much awesomeness uh, in there. The Exynos 4412 quad core processor that is at least something I do think we're gonna see. But I don't think we're gonna see all of these. If you feel, I'm kind of skeptical to it. And also, I'm I'm really not sure if we're gonna see. It an edge to edge screen on the Galaxy S3 could come on this Galaxy B phone but uh, it would be just too amazing if they would uh, do it on the Galaxy S3 but uh, you know we will find out hopefully in the next upcoming weeks when Samsung is probably going to hold their you know event we have heard it could be on March the 15th it could be on March the 22nd but it's probably going to be somewhere around there we're going to hear more about the Galaxy S3 with a simultaneous uh, launch in 50 different markets at least that was also BGR said but as you can see here on this picture they're comparing it to a Galaxy Nexus versus this uh, so-called Galaxy S3 phone 4.8 inch screen and I mean it really looks smaller okay it really looks smaller it really looks like a 4.3 inch device and uh, 4.3 inch that's uh, you know that, that that was pretty huge last year and I think many people really do enjoy that size so it's gonna be fun to see you know what, what's gonna happen and uh, that uh, you know you can really make a base screen if you, if you remove all the those uh, them uh, those vessels and stuff like that then you can really have this huge screen and you know it should be more focused on the screen and I think that in in just a few years we're probably gonna laugh at this uh, you know these vessels that we have and stuff like that uh, but uh, yeah we will see about that in the future until next time I see you